Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jennifer, and this is A Country Life, and today I have for you guys a great big... Basically, I just went to Walmart and spent $355. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so let me just first share with you. Um, we are a family of seven living here, and my normal Walmart... I always call it the Walmart budget. It really just means it's for all the household -y stuff. Um, bathroom stuff, kitchen stuff... Um, you know, that kind of thing, okay? Not home decor or anything like that, but just all the general needs. Yes, Joe? Pup. What did you make today? Oh, you colored. Is that Jesus? Yep. And Maria, you colored a pumpkin. Ah! And what else did Joe color? Um, backwards, I can't tell what that is. I'd have to look at it. No, Jesus. That's also Jesus? I gave all right. him that picture to color. All right, very nice. So, what I was saying is that, um, okay, shh, shh, shh. So what I was saying is that, um, like my Walmart budget really is just for kind of all those household needs, the things that get used up month after month, you know the things, toilet paper, batteries, all that kind of thing. And I set aside for our family of seven, $200 for that kind of stuff. Now, sometimes we don't spend all of it on just the consumables. Sometimes it is spent, um, you know, I see like a new pillow or something like that. Every once in a while I do spend it on that, but nobody knows that. So as I was saying, $355, that's 155 over my Walmart budget. I did get some groceries yesterday as well. And um, I also got a few more things than normal because you all know life has been weird um, for like seven or eight months. And I just... I just don't want to be caught basically with my pants down, right? Okay, so let's look at this. We have not had cereal in the house for over two weeks, and I'm not going to apologize for it, but my kids love cereal. So that was really what I picked up yesterday. Oatmeal squares. Fruit and yogurt awake. Simply granola. Honey grams, which already got opened last night. Actually, the granola did too. Seriously, Joe, I know you want to show me everything, don't bread. you? And Jesus is holding bread. You're right. Thank you. Okay, I need to keep doing this, okay? I got bread. Okay, so then we have Honey Nut Cheerios and Mini Spooners <laughs> and a giant, I love this, it's called a gigantic bag <laughs> of cinnamon toasters. And then we also have been, you know, low on like snackies. I really wanted to get Warren Pringles, but they only had all of the flavors and he's just a plain guy. So I ended up trying the great value ones. I have no idea. He's not a fan of the Aldi version of Pringles, but I thought we'd try that. And then I did find one of like the plain wavy. So I thought I'd try that for him. I don't know. We'll see what he thinks of those. And then I picked up, this was just kind of on a whim. I have no idea if anyone in the house is going to go for these, but I thought we'd give it a try. And then some Scooby snacks. I don't think I've ever purchased those in my life, but I did. And then some of these uh, Stauffer's Wales cheddar cheese. I knew that the kids would like those too. So now some bathroom stuff. I did stock up on toothpaste, um, the kids toothpaste, and then this scope. And then this is what I use for sensitive teeth. And then this, this is just so funny. This is like 68 or 78 cents. <laughs> Last month I got him this and he seemed to like it. I'm gonna say this quiet, but those little spin brushes and those are gonna be from Santa Claus. Cover that back up. And then I did pick up five of these packages of bathroom tissue. I talked about this in my last household haul video um, that these are the only size rolls that fit onto our um, bathroom you know, toilet paper holder. Lots of people mentioned that there's like an extender. I did look at it at Amazon and I put it in my cart. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna get it. We actually, this sounds funny, but we actually really like this toilet paper. I wasn't sure at first if we were going to like it. And when I had mentioned, you know, to Warren that they make these extenders and stuff, he's like, well, I kind of like this toilet paper. So we're just going with it. And anytime I stop in at Walmart or if War Warren mentions he's going to town, I'm like, hey, can you stop and just pick up another five, six, seven, eight packages? Just so we kind of always have it because they're tiny little packages. 
Okay, so I did get some more mascara because, you know, if there was any kind of odd lockdown, this is the one thing I would really want. <gasps> you know what I forgot? Dry shampoo. Shoot, it wasn't on my list and I forgot to get it. Okay, but I did. I have been buying this Burt's Bees for almost a year now. It's 10 bucks. I think it's a great 10 bucks um, at Walmart. If you get it through like Grove Collaborative, I think it's 11 or $12. So go to Walmart. All right, so a soap. They were a little bit low on hand soap. I was kind of surprised again. But anyway, I picked that one up. A four-pack of deodorant because, again, if there was some kind of odd um, major, major lockdown that came about, I didn't want to be without the men in my household having that. Some razors. This time I picked up the six-pack because it was about, I think, $1.50 cheaper to get the six-pack versus two three-packs. So I went that route. My brush broke recently, a great big crack, and now all these little things are falling out, so I picked up a new brush. This here was on clearance. This is uh, like a self-tanner. Amber likes this brand, and it, they actually had all of it on clearance for half price, so that took it to $4.99, so I picked that up for her. And then I just needed some conditioner. Whoops. I guess it goes that way. So I got this coconut oil conditioner. What else? I guess this isn't really bathroom at all, but um, a great big pack of paper towel just to keep my stock um, going with that. And then I picked up some bandages. I just, you know, when you've got kids around <laughs> and a farmer husband, <laughs> It seems like we can never have too many bandages around. And then some of these bigger ones too. And then I did grab this, um, just like some cold and flu medicine, just in case. When something comes up and you don't have it on hand, like for us, it's a long distance to have to run and get something like that. So, um, yeah, so I picked it up to have it. Some cough drops again, just to have on hand here, because we're going into these uh, colder winter months. Irish Spring, this is the soap that uh, everybody has been liking lately. We keep one of these little holders out in the bathroom. And sometimes I'm torn because the little white plastic ones that are the um, Great Value brand are a lot cheaper, but they don't crush. So those fill up the garbage can so quickly. And um, these are more expensive, but we're able to crush them. And I also figure they're paper, so they're going to biodegrade better. So ugh, it just... There's always that balance you're trying to strike. Okay, and then some dishwasher pods, and I was nearly out of these uh, steel wool soap pads. We call them SOS pads in our house. And I picked up another box of freezer bags. And then this, I did not get this on the scratch and dent area. I actually dropped it out of the cart <laughs> when I was in the parking lot and it just busted open. But these are the bags we've been really liking actually the hefty they're way better than the great value i bought those once that was a big mistake so we've been going with the 33 gallon fit the huge garbage can very well tide sport still really like this i always feel like it's very expensive but i feel like it just works well for us and on a side note oh i did get a second jug but that one is already in use because i shopped last night and um yeah amber needed to do laundry last night so and that's how low we were on laundry soap. I don't like to get to that point. And that's why I got two now, so I could really be stocked up. Um, anyway, on a side note, I was going to say that when I was talking about like stinky towels and things like that, many of you, okay, I got so many comments from you all regarding ways to get the stink out of towels. So... You know, I don't know how long those community posts stay up, if they're just always there. I've never really scrolled way, way, way down. But anyway, um, go back to that one. I don't know which one it would be. Sorry about that. Okay, but I'll just let you know. So a lot of people talked about stripping their towels, that it's something that gets done in a bathtub with... Um, I can't even remember all the products, but anyways, uh, maybe vinegar or possibly ammonia or, or something like that. Anyway, stripping the towels is um, something that can be done. And I did have a few people mention pine salt. That seemed to be the easiest thing, and it was something I had on hand. And so I have been adding about a tablespoon or so of pine salt 
to my towel load and it's amazing the difference that it makes. So if you too are struggling with um, stinky towels, just give that a try. Pine Sol is not overly expensive. You only need about a tablespoon, maybe two if it's a really big load. That's been working great. So uh, Warren and I kind of took like a date Saturday one day and we went, we were actually out looking for two things canning supplies and ammo. We ran across a um, hardware store in Augusta, Wisconsin. I think that was where it was, yes. And they had these over a gallon size jug of Pine Sol. And so I picked up two of those because I thought, you know, that's really helpful. I use it also for my floors and now I've been using it in towels. So I got that, I stocked up big time. All right, back to this kind of stuff. Sometimes I get so sidetracked. I did pick up some of these little candle holders here. We just seem to always be kind of short on that, although after I got home last night, I was thinking I have these little tiny mini canning jars, which would actually, they're like a, a half, not a half pint, a quarter pint canning jar, which would work perfect. But anyway, I already had these. These were a dollar a piece. And they will come in handy, even at Christmas time with our Advent wreath and stuff. And I picked up some candles. Again, we the kids have been carving pumpkins, so this will be helpful for that, as well as um, just having some candles for, you know, any you know winter emergencies or anything like that. I saw these. This was something new. These oversized tea lights. Really like those. And then a um, hundred pack of these tea lights. These burn down so fast but it's nice they come in a big pack. I did grab a pack of batteries. This was not on my list, but I know that a number of our small flashlights that we keep, um, like just kind of next to the bed and stuff like that, they take these double A, so I picked that up. And then life with a um, child with special needs. Sometimes we have some wets, and so I'm trying these for the first time, and maybe it would save me some laundry. I'm not trying to air any any information about Joe that maybe he wouldn't want out there, but I, I, am, I do try to keep this as real as I can, um, and that is the life when you have a special needs child. Sometimes things don't always happen in the order that you think they're gonna happen. <laughs> so we are still buying those types of products. Okay, and then I also realized why my total was so much. I did pick up a coat for Warren. Um, he loves green, and I saw this coat. It's kind of like one of these little, I don't know if you'd call it a puffer coat, but it's really thin, but guess what? I, I wanted to get a large, and I thought it was a large, and we got home, and it's an extra large. So even though he really liked the coat, I'm gonna have to return it, because the extra large, of course, was huge in the body, but then the sleeves were too short. And so we're figuring that the large, the sleeves are not going to be any longer. Um, so we'll have to take that one back. But I also picked this up. And I was going to just give this to him for Christmas. But when the coat was a, was a bust, <laughs> I brought this out. And this fit him great. This is just, he has really become a vest guy. He loves to wear like a button-down shirt and then a vest. And this vest fits perfectly. So if you do have a tall and uh, narrow husband, this vest would be perfect because in a large, it didn't have too much body, but it had a lot of length, which was really, really great. So anyway, pick this up. I think this was only like 17 bucks, maybe 15, 14 92 for this. The coat was, I think 35. Yep, 35, but this I'll be returning. So that actually, that's good. I'm going to take my $355 down to 320. Is that 35? Yes, down to $320. And that is ever, no, I forgot. Sam had mentioned to me that he could really use some ankle socks and I was just going to get him some plain old, plain olds. But he, he's like totally my patriotic kid. He loves, um, yeah, he loves American flag stuff. So I saw these for $2 a pair at Walmart. They were kind of over by like the men's, where were they? Kind of by the coats. That's how I ended up running across them. And I thought he might like these. So I just picked him up a variety of these kind of like star. And if he doesn't like them, I mean, they were in the men's department, but then as I was laying them out, I'm like, is he going to think those are too girly? I, I don't know. I don't know, it's so hard to know with a teenager. And then I picked up these for him too. I thought he'd like those longer ones. So 
those are a potential um, a potential return. Those that also was two, four, six, eight, ten dollars out of that budget, and I do have a separate clothing budget, so I will take money from my clothing budget and I will kind of go around and disperse it back to where it goes. So that's kind of what I do. So if so, let's just talk about this for a quick second before I close out the video. Um, if you are working at getting onto a cash system or an envelope system, sometimes you have to come home and do some some like quick subtracting and kind of shuffle the money around is what I say. Because let's say you go to the store, you have your Walmart envelope, because that's what you're thinking that you're going to be buying is just household supplies and all of a sudden you see a great deal on socks or you see a, a, a vest or whatever and you don't have the clothing envelope. You're like, well now what, do I drive home and then I have to get the clothing envelope or do I have to carry all the envelopes all the time with me? What I do, <laughs> Sam is back, cool. Sam was out bow hunting this morning, we'll see what, what comes with that. But um, so then what I do is when I come home, I take my total receipt and I just kind of add up what was food and I make sure to shuffle the money back into the right envelopes. So I did still spend a lot on household supplies this month, but like I said, I did try to um, stock up on some things. How was the hunt? So, got it out there about, I think it was like 7.30. I think it was way no, earlier. No, no. Yeah, it was way yeah, earlier yeah. than I that. I got out super early. Like 6.15. Like, yeah, but like around 7.30, uh, saw a doe back in the woods, and uh, she knew something was up because her tail was up, and uh -huh. uh, so I was just sitting there still, had my bow ready, and then I looked behind her, and there was a buck. The buck was outside the ears. Really? Yeah, I think it was that uh, super tall 10 that's been coming in there. Uh, but that thing, it looked like it was committed straight for like a good 10 yards from where I was sitting. But uh, there was a deer behind me that I didn't know was oh. there. And it must have knew I was there because it started snoring. And that deer turned and went the other way and then the one behind me ran off. Ran off too. Hmm. Okay, with that, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul video and we will see you in the next video. Yep.